Um, Slowly change. Yeah. But the thing is, when we when we look at Jesus, you know, Jesus, he was born from a woman. Yes. He used to he used to eat food. Yes. He would become hungry. He would become tired. Yes. And he himself, he used to worship God. Yes. So we th so therefore he cannot be God. And then Christians will say that he died on the cross. Yes. If Jesus died, then he cannot be God. Yeah, so it, we find it is very simple. So the teachings of Islam, we have the Quran. The Quran is the last book given to the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. And the Quran explains uh, who is God, it explains about the messengers, and it explains about what happens when we, we meet God. Paradise, hellfire, and it explains the way to get to God, how to, how to worship him. Do you have any questions or? Uh, the Muslim people to God. Sorry? So who conducts, the, who takes the, the Muslim people to God? Who, who tells us about God or? Because the Christians believe yeah. that Jesus is sending to God. You come to Jesus and who? Yes. No, so, so we believe that when Jesus said, I am the way, I am the truth, I am the light, none will get to the Father except through me. You know this verse. We say that if Jesus said this, this is similar to all of the messengers. You know, like if, if, if me and you were, were alive in the time of Moses, we have to believe in God, but we have to follow the teachings of Moses. So in the time of Jesus, if when Jesus comes, I cannot say, no, I'm only going to follow Moses. I have to follow Jesus. So now, 600 years after Jesus, another prophet came, Muhammad, peace be upon all of them. And now we believe all mankind, they have to follow the prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. He's from the same, you know, family line. You know Abraham? Yes. You know Abraham, his first son, yes. Ismail. Right. Yes. Then his second son from Sarah, Isaac. Yes. Isaac, the father of Jacob, and Jacob had 12 sons. Yes. So these, the children of Israel, all of the messengers and all of the prophets, David, Suleiman, Zachariah, they all came up until Jesus. Whereas the prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he's from the line of Abraham, but through Ismail. And he's the last messenger. All of these previous messengers. Yes, the line of Ismail. Yeah. If you if you read if you if you know if you read in the Bible, the same way, um, the same way I, uh, Jacob had twelve sons, Ismail also had twelve sons, and his the second son of Ismail was known as Kedar. Kedar is the father of the Arabs. So the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is from this family line. So all the messengers, they go back to Abraham. But what we say is, the message was all the same. We don't say that Moses had one religion, Jesus had another religion, and Muhammad had another, peace be upon all of them. We say they all came with the same religion. There's one God and worship him. That's, that's the message of Islam. But also, when uh, Jesus came, when he went to the children of Israel, it's because they had, you know, changed the teachings of Moses. They had added things, they'd taken things away. So he called them to go back to the teachings of Moses. The same way now the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, has come, he's actually explained the way the people had forgotten the religion or changed the religion. So the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he clearly teaches that God is one and God alone should be worshipped. And Jesus is not God. Moses is not God. Muhammad is not God. Rather, God is alone. That's, that's the teachings of Islam. Which, obviously, I'm a Muslim, but I will tell you, if you, if you read the, the Quran, it makes, it makes sense. But even the, you know, the human heart, when you tell them that God is one and worship Him alone, the human heart accepts it. I read the Quran, but I've never seen in English or Portuguese. Okay. I because I, I started reading uh, because a friend of mine, uh, yeah. she walks in the office with me, she's a Muslim. Yeah. And I just follow the reading through, is it called easy when they fast? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's all I know about fasting. So oh, in Ramadan, she yeah. almost does that and then she prays as well. But then she left, when she went to France, she left the Quran with me for a few days and I started reading, but then when she came, she took it away. Oh dear. So, Yes, I'm reading. Thank you. I'll start reading because I know very little.
Yes. And I know a lot about Christianity, but I'm no longer Christian. Okay. But I used to be, I was raised as a Christian, but uh, just before I, <laughs> I joined the uni, I dropped my faith. So I have no faith, really. I mean, I, I believe in God, that's it. Okay. You don't mind me asking, what made you leave Christianity? Because I didn't agree with many things. Okay. Uh, mainly, um, <laughs> I was really excluded. <laughs> You felt excluded? No, I was excluded from the church okay. because of the Holy Spirit. Okay, okay. Because the lady came in a manner, she had told me in a manner that I didn't think was um, appropriate. And I didn't, I didn't believe it was the Holy Spirit. And I questioned, and because I questioned, <laughs> I was excluded. Then I went back. Okay, okay, and okay. That's why I really Yeah. No, the, the thing is, Obviously, I'm, I'm, I'm a Muslim, so you can say, well, you're biased. But in Islam, it allows you to question. Because we are, you know, we are comfortable and we are confident because we have the answers. Christianity, yeah. you can question God or Jesus, but you can't question the Holy Spirit. Yes. So that's why I question. It's just, just the way the lady approached, she said she had the Holy Spirit. And yeah. she approached me, holding my hand. I found very disrespectful. And they said, the Holy Spirit that I agree with and that I believe doesn't behave towards us like this. That's yeah. just how we went. See, see, when we say the Holy... See, we believe in God, and we believe that God has, you know, names and attributes. Yeah. Like, uh, from His names is uh, Ar-Rahman, the Most Merciful, Ar-Rahim, the One who gives mercy, Al-Khaliq, the Creator, Al-Alim, the All-Knowing. So, we, we, we have these names. And, but we believe the Creator is separate from the, the creation. Human beings, we, we can have a direct relationship. Like, for example, we all commit sins. We all have shortcomings. And Islam teaches very clearly that when I commit a sin, I call, you know, oh my Lord, oh my God, oh most merciful, I've done wrong and forgive me. And then we're forgiven. But we don't believe that someone else has to carry my sins and they have to be punished. So in Islam, we have a direct relationship, but we don't make a that this is God the Son, this is God the Father, this is God the Holy Spirit. We say, no, God is completely one. So... Thank you, I'm going to read also my son, lately. <laughs> he's not Muslim, but he's fasting because he has some friends at school. And he, oh, okay, okay. <laughs> so I said to him, you know, he just said, no, mom, I have to eat and fast. I said, but you don't know how to fast. He said, I do because his friends at school, yeah. and then he knows. So he's, he's learning through YouTube. Okay, okay. That is a very famous YouTube channel where okay. the guy explains that they, yeah. my son is starting to read to me, but I don't really know much, so I thought okay. I'm going to buy a Quran to read, so now I have one. No Thank problem, you. no problem. Madam, we're here every Saturday. If you have any more questions, or you know, this is some leaflets, like who is Jesus, who is Muhammad, oh, really? women yeah. in Islam, what about the hijab, uh, so that's that. If you want, those, uh, those brothers there, they have more books. But they're usually there Saturday as well. And, and you can ask any questions. Thank you. No problem, Thank madam. Thank you very much. All the best. Alhamdulillah.